Praise be to Jesus. Hi everyone, Charles Whitney here on a Wednesday evening. Bishop David Walkowiak of Grand Rapids, Michigan supports Father Scott Nolan who refused a lesbian judge Holy Communion. Media reports against Father Nolan are brutally biased, while Kolwiak called Nolan's decision appropriate. So I'm going to read to you this statement from the bishop. It's, it's excellent. We appreciate Judge Sarah Smolinski's service to the community. We are grateful for her past generosity. These facts are not at issue in this matter. This is great here. As Pope Francis explains in Amoris Laetitia, quote, a quote from the uh, AL, the Eucharist demands that we be members of the one body of the church. Those who approach the body and blood of Christ may not wound that same body by creating scandalous distinctions and divisions among its members, unquote. Number 186. Lifelong Catholics would surely be aware of this, he says. Inclusion and acceptance have been a hallmark of Catholic churches in the Diocese of Grand Rapids throughout the diocese's history. They remain so. They presume, however, a respect on the part of individuals for the teachings and practice of the wider Catholic community. No community of faith can sustain the public contradiction of its beliefs by its own members. You see, you can't have two, uh, two different churches in the same diocese. You can't have the fake and the real church together. This is especially so on matters as central to Catholic life as marriage, which the church has always held and continues to hold as a sacred covenant between one man and one woman. Father Scott Nolan, pastor of St. Stephen Parish, has dedicated his priesthood to bringing people closer to Jesus Christ. Part of his duty is pursuing that end in pursuing that end is to teach the truth as taught by the Catholic Church and to help it take root and grow in his parish. <laughs> Mercy is essential to that process, but so are humility and conversion on the part of anyone seeking to live an authentically Catholic Christian life. Father Nolan approached Judge Smolinski uh, privately. Subsequent media reports do not change the appropriateness of his action, which the diocese supports. Excellent, excellent. Make, the, make this guy the Pope. Uh, okay, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.